Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the reinforcement required for the minimum hogging case. So, just like the minimum sagging case, we use this formula, which is straight from the code. It's an 8.1.6.1. There it is. So I've just rewritten over here. So once again, this is from 8.1.6.1. So this is the formula for the minimum hogging and sagging. Now what we do is that this P subscript E is pre-stress. We don't have any pre-stress, so that goes to zero. So we're left with Z outside of F, C, T, dot F, dash. Uh, Z is the section modulus, which is I on Y, times F, C, T, dot F, dash. Now if I just draw our picture to show you what we're doing. So here is our beam. Okay, so we've got the stirrups and we've got our bars. And now the centroid from the top is at 250.4. Now what we're interested in is we, know, we need to know the Y distance is the distance from the centroid to the fiber, to the extreme um, fiber we're interested in. Um, in the sagging case, we were looking at the bottom because when our beam was sagging, the bottom was in tension. But now we're looking at hogging. When we're hogging, the top of our beam is now in tension. Okay, so we need to know the distance from there to there, which is just 250.4. Okay, so the formula is the exact same for minimum hogging and sagging. The only difference is going to be the, the value we sub in for y. So this is going to equal 1.2 outside of the i value. The i value we found in previous videos to be 1.56 by 10 to the 10 divided by y, the distance, which is 250.4 times by FCT dot f dash which is 0.6 root 32 0.6 root f c dash so if we were to work this out 1.56 by 10 to the 10 divided by 250.4 times 1.2 by 0.6 by root 32 we get 250 around